Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So to begin off this eye look today, I've actually gone in and done one of my eyes just beforehand to get like an initial idea of what I wanted it to look like. So I'm just going to be going in and doing one eye for you guys today. So to begin off this look, I've actually gone in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to prime my eyes. So this is going to act as a nice white blank canvas for the eyeshadows to really stand out and look really vibrant against, make them true to colour. For the first two eyeshadows I'm going in with today, I'm taking this sky blue shadow from my Chi Chi palette and mixing it in with a little bit of White Lies, just a matte white shade, to create this nice soft blue transition on the outer crease. Then I'm going to take Wisteria, which is a beautiful light mauve tone, and I'm placing that on the inner third of my eye and meshing it in to the sky blue shade, so kind of helping them blend together. Next, to deepen up the inner crease area, I'm going to take this deep purple shade from the Chi Chi palette, and I go back in with a little bit of Wisteria afterwards to just blend it out a little bit, so it's not so harsh and like stark, it's a bit more blended and smoky. Then I go in with a shimmery blue. This shade is a little bit darker than the previous ones, so it's going to act as a bit more of a gradient effect. Then I'm taking this beautiful shimmery like navy blue colour from Morphe, it's called Sapphire, and I'm applying that to the outer third of my eye, just the outer V. As you can see, I'm creating a little bit of like a smoked out point on the outer corner with all those shades. I want it to be really drawn out and like smoky, more of like a cat eye effect I guess. Then I'm taking some of my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk again and I'm carving out the crease. And then taking these stunning shadows from the Lizzie eyeshadow palette. This is the cool tone one I think and I'm basically applying that black shade and some of that shimmery like black silvery shade to my outer third of my eye. It literally reminded me of a galaxy. These two shades together are stunning. <laughs> then I'm going back in with some of Sapphire and applying that um, a bit over the top to help it kind of blend into that outer corner smoky effect that we've created. Next I'm taking this deep purple shade and applying it with my finger to the inner third of my eye and then taking some of that beautiful shimmery purple shade and applying it next to it to help it fade in a little bit more to that blue that I'm now applying to the very centre of the lid in that gap that we've left. This is Pegasus. It's a beautiful foiled blue eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. I'm applying that to the centre of the lid and also creating a more of a cut crease effect with that flat shader brush. Then I go back in with some of those initial colours that we used before and just blend all those colours together so there's no harsh lines. So the purple fades into the blue and the blue fades into the outer corner. I'm then taking some of that black shade from the Thin Lizzy palette and I'm just applying that to the inner third of the crease area to deepen it up a little bit more. And I go back in with some of that purple shade to blend it out a little bit. Next is the fun part, the really galaxy kind of effect look. I'm taking this glitter liner from Revlon. It's their photo ready eye art glitter liner in the shade Topaz Twinkle. And I'm applying that to the cut crease area. And literally this look just reminded me of a galaxy. Like don't you think with all those colours? Like mm, girl it was nice. That is very very nice. <laughs> Next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara, then I'm going in with lashes today. These are the feisty lashes from Anitude. They're nice and full but they don't cover too much of that eye shadow up. You know what I'm talking about? Next I'm going in with a nude eye curl to my waterline to really open up the eyes. Then I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this WA shade from my travel palette from Focalore. And I'm applying that to the highest point of the brow bone. It's a nice white shimmery shade. Then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going in with this deep pink shadow from the Chi Chi palette and just applying that to the very inner corner and also the inner third of my bottom lash line. Then I'm going to take some of that shimmery purple shade that we used on the lid and I'm applying that right next to the pink eyeshadow along the bottom lash line. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the sapphire shade. I'm applying that to the outer third of my bottom lash line, really close to that lash line area. I'm not smoking it out too much. Then I'm going to take those two shades from the Thin Lizzy palette again and apply that to the outer third of my eye and kind of blend it into sapphire a little bit. And then to blend those shades out on the outer third, I'm taking that shimmery blue shade that we used before and just smoking it out a little bit. And to smoke out the purple shade, I'm going to take some of that light purple wisteria shade and smoke it out, like I said. <laughs> 
Then to finish off, I'm going in with some mascara on my bottom lashes and this concludes today's eye look. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. I really had a lot of fun making this look. If you guys have any requests for future looks, then please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.